Hi, I'm Abigail James, skincare expert, and I wanted to share with you today the importance of cleansing. So as a facialist, I have my hands on people's skin on a daily basis. There is the importance of cleansing within a facial, but also then with your home care. If you get your cleansing correct, you're then kind of lined up for almost making better choices with the rest of your home care. So for example, if you're using a cleanser that's too harsh for your skin, you're then potentially going to be choosing other products for a drier skin that maybe you've created through using the wrong cleanser. So I wanted to share this video to help guide you through all the different cleansers out there. I know it's an absolute minefield. There are so many to choose from, whether it's type, ingredients, effect, and we are all made up so uniquely. My skin is different to your skin, you know, to your best friend. We are all so different. So I wanted to share with you today from the range of Rituals, which I love Rituals products. They have created a whole new range of natural skincare, the Ritual of Namaste. They have, amongst so many different products, created a number of facial cleansers, and they actually have a cleanser for each skin type, you name it, they've created a cleanser that's going to work for you. So I wanted to chat you through those different cleansing types and hopefully we've got something that's gonna work for your skin. Firstly, if you've got makeup on, we wanna be able to remove that makeup effectively. So starting with something like a micellar water. You might be familiar with this type of cleanser or not. Um, I know kind of French skincare has been using this type of thing for many years. Micellars, they are tiny molecules suspended within the lotion. Rituals have managed to create, I think, a world first natural micellar, which is, to be honest, an incredible thing to be able to do. So, micellar water, very simply, onto cotton pads. I'd probably do two, wipe over, usually great at taking off all eye makeup, red lip, everything else. To me, it's that first step. A micellar water on its own is not enough to be doing a thorough cleanse, but a perfect, let's get the makeup off and kind of start with a clean base. The micellars have the ability to almost grab onto oil and pollution and things, so great for freshening up the skin. Cleansing milks. Do you know what? I think cleansing milks are a little bit considered old fashioned nowadays, but I absolutely love using a cleansing milk. I find they've just got a beautiful texture, they're a perfect universal cleanser that you can use for that first cleansing. Mild cleansing milk, exactly what it says on the bottle. It's gentle, it's velvety, it's soft. It's gonna give a nice base cleanse. It's scent as well, this particular one from Rituals. Oh, it's just beautiful, it feels soft, it feels nourishing. You can put a cleansing milk onto cotton pads. You know, it might be nice to maybe focus on the eyes if you're doing it like that. Or you can also put it into palms of hands and use it like you would a wash. My preference, to be honest, is to put it in palms of hands, smush it over the face and then wash it off with a damp cloth. I also love cleansing oils and balms. Often those types of cleansers will come down to your personal preference. They have very similar effects. So these two, we've got a silky soft cleansing oil and a radiant glow cleansing balm. Their textures are very different. Cleansing oil looks and feels like an oil. I'd massage it in, work it over the face, you can go over eyes, the lips. It is that excuse with the cleansing oil to be able to do a bit of a massage as well. This particular one, when you add water, it turns into a milky lotion. So there's no chance of leaving too much oil on the surface of the skin. The lotion means it can just very simply wash up off clean damp cloth, rinse it off, it's not over stripping, over drying, it just leaves the skin feeling, I don't know, plump, hydrated and, and cleansed. Cleansing balm, radiant glow. It's balm, yes, but it has a slightly gel-like texture. This, it's, I find it quite difficult to choose between those two types because both of these are turning into a lotion. The scent of these two is slightly different. 
Um, so this again will rinse off really easily. To be honest, it's going to come down to preference of that texture with those two. Some other cleansing oils and balms, they might not have that action of turning into a lotion. So with those, you have to use a hot cloth to help melt those off the skin. So I just find that these are a little bit more... It's almost like having two cleansers in one with those because they have that hydrating, um, removing the impurities, and then that dissolve part as they turn into a lotion. The micellars, the milks, the cleansing balms, the oils, they are really great for a drier skin, a mature skin, that first step cleanse, uh, that removing makeup. So for me, they kind of sit into that bracket and the sensitive skin as well. The other types of cleansers would be those which are a little bit more wash-like. So Rituals have two different washes. There is a velvety smooth cleansing foam. There are no harsh cleansing uh, derivatives in this. It has a cream-like texture to start with, but you add a little bit of water. And when I say foam, it's, it's I don't know, it's not really a foam. It's a, a soft velvety texture. I would massage this onto the face, rinse it off. It just leaves the skin feeling clean and fresh, but not over stripped. This cleanser is perfect for that second step cleanse. So you might actually use one of the first cleansers and then use this type of product. You might choose to use this type of product first thing in the morning, just to kind of wake up the skin and leave the skin perfectly cleansed and then your other skincare is going to nicely absorb afterwards. The other wash that Rituals have is their Gentle Cleansing Foam. Similar but different in its texture. As you can see, very different. So yes, it's come up as a foam, but it's not packed with chemicals. These are totally natural ingredients. It's the action of the pump that makes it foam. I'd put that into palms of hands, massage it in and rinse it off. Very simple to use. Again, even though it's a, a wash, it's got a slightly, I don't know, hydrating, silky texture to it. So it, it, it's not gonna be over stripping the skin. You might choose to use a wash if you're prone to a slightly midday shine. They're not going to, these two particular ones are not going to be targeting an acne skin. You know, that's a, a totally different type of wash or even kind of skincare products. So these are for washing off the day, the pollution, keeping the skin fresh and hydrated. So you'll see within the Ritual of Namaste, there is literally a cleanser for all skin types, times of day, you name it, there is something there to suit all skin types. I hope you have found that helpful. Please do ask me any questions below. I am always happy to help.